Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be decorating my home for winter. But first, let's start with a tour of my home undecorated. Here are all the items I'll be using to decorate the kitchen for winter. Here are all the items I'll be using to decorate the entryway and dining room. Here are all the items I'll be using to decorate the family room. Hey friends, I'm Tanya. Let's start decorating outside for winter. I'll begin by putting up this Hey Friends sign, this black and white buffalo check rug, and this welcome mat that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'll be reusing this apple bushel basket that you saw in my fall video. I'll be adding in some wood from a tree that my husband had chopped down because when I think of winter, I think of a cozy fire and you need wood for a cozy fire. It's a natural element, something I already had, and it's free. Everything I used to decorate the front porch was something that I already had or I was able to gather it from my yard for free. On this day when I was decorating, I had the idea to put the wood in that apple bushel basket and I just really love how it turned out. Let's go inside and start decorating in there. I'm going to start in the kitchen with this black and white vintage tray. Then I'll add this coffee pot, a green wreath to add a pop of color, and a black and white mug. During the winter, I like to use my coffee-themed items because a cup of coffee is warm and cozy. Next, I'll be decorating my coffee bar. I'll be repurposing this wooden box that once had flowers in it that my husband gave me, and I'll be using it to create height by my coffee maker to cover the outlet behind it. Now I'm going to take my coffee filters and put them in this apothecary jar. And I'll put my measuring spoon back in the sugar canister because that's where I keep it. And I'll put my coffee canister next to it to create varying levels of height. I'll put my coffee sign on the counter to keep with that black and white theme. Next, I'll place this green wreath above it to give it a pop of color. I place the taller items closest to the wall to cover up outlets and light switches. Remember those cookbooks that I told you I just couldn't part with in my Real Kitchen Reset video? Well, I found a purpose for them. If I remove the plastic cover, it leaves me with a beautiful book that I can prop up next to the wall to cover the outlet. Next, I'll be decorating my three-tiered tray. I added in some greenery for a pop of color and several black and white items. Now I'm gonna take this coffee canister and reverse it so that the word coffee doesn't show and add in this vintage rolling pin. I'll be using this monogrammed cutting board against the wall to cover the outlet. This picture was actually the inspiration for my color theme for this winter decorate with me. It has black, white, brown, and green in it, so I'm using those colors throughout my home. 
Next, I'm just going to put our old soap and hand dispensers away and wipe down the counter because I got these cute new ones at Target for only $5. I liked that they were clear and simple and I really liked that one was labeled dishes and the other one was labeled hands. I'm just going to fill them with dish soap and hand soap so that they'll be ready to be used. I went to three different stores to try and find clear dish soap and hand soap and that was a challenge. The first hand soap I bought I thought it was clear and then when I got home I realized it was lavender. Then at the third store, I thought I found a clear dish soap and a clear hand soap until I opened them up and poured them in these bottles and I realized all clear soaps are not the same kind of clear. You'll notice in a few seconds when I line them up side by side and show you that one is more clear than the other. Oh well, I still think the soap dispensers are cute. Now I'm going to begin to decorate my hutch with marshmallows and hot chocolate. I'm going to add in this welcome home sign and this lantern. I'll add my jar of cinnamon sticks and this ceramic creamer. Next I'll add this lantern and cookie jar. Oh wait, I want you to see it. Isn't it cute? I got it at a garage sale years ago. Now I'm going to add in some cups and saucers. Next, I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Next, I'll add in this cute sign and my cookbook holder. Another cookbook coming in handy. Once I take off the outer cover, I've got a pop of green to add to my shelf. Next, I'll add a stack of my remaining saucers and ceramic sugar bowl with cups stacked inside. Then I'll add this French press. I bought these kitchen towels at Costco because I really needed some and because I thought they were a great deal. $13 for eight of them, which averages to about $1.62 each. I thought I can't beat that, so I got them. The other thing that sold me on them is they were cute and they had a couple in black and white to go with my winter theme. Now I'm going to decorate our kitchen table with something simple because we eat all our meals here every day. Just some chargers, a vintage cake stand, faux green apples, some beads, and our dinner plates. I'm keeping it simple so we can easily move the centerpiece to clean the table after meals. My winter kitchen is done. Here is a tour of it from top to bottom and all around before moving on to the rest of the house. If you're enjoying this video so far, please click like. I'm going to begin with my entryway by placing this boxwood garland on the shelf. Then I'll take this Ray Dunn cloche and fill it with some green filler I got at Ikea. Next, I'm going to take this vintage welcome sign that I refinished on my last video and place it on the shelf. A Christmas wreath, shh. I'm going to reverse it and face it towards the wall after I turn on this light. Next, I'm going to add in this green wreath for a pop of color. 
I just got home, and home is where you hang your purse and your hat. I really love how the welcome sign turned out after I refinished it and I really love this little house all lit up. It just makes everything feel so cozy. I also really like my winter hat hung by my purse because it reminds me to wear it more often on my way out. Now I'm going to begin decorating the other side of our entryway. I'm so excited that I got LED candles. I had been wanting to get some for about two months now to add some light and coziness to our home. So when I saw these at Home Goods and it was seven of them for $20, I had to get them. I'm just checking what size candle to use on this candle holder because I don't want to cover the words in the sign above. I'm going to take my other cloche and put this faux plant inside of it. I'll add my Pray Big sign to go under our scripture wall decor. Now I'm going to add some batteries to my LED candle so I can light it up. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm just loving how the LED candle looks all lit up on the newly refinished candle holder and how the Pray Big sign looks underneath the scripture. I'm going to hang this metal decor on the farmhouse gate that my husband built and then I'm going to add this greenery in for a pop of color. Now that I'm done with our entryway, I'll be moving on to our dining room. I'll begin by putting up this wall decor. Then I'm going to place my black and white buffalo check table runner on the table. Next I'll add our galvanized metal chargers to the table. Then I'll add this vintage tray. I'll add this small dessert stand and drape these beads around it. Then I'll add some lanterns with some LED candles inside to create some cozy lighting. Then I'll add this framed vintage postcard of the hotel where my husband and I had our wedding reception. Now I'm going to hang this newly refinished monogram M on the wall across from the dining table. Please check out my last video where I gave the welcome sign, candle holder, and this monogrammed M a makeover. I'll link it in the description below. I'll begin in the living room by placing this magnolia wreath on the fireplace and these LED candles on the candle holders. Then I'll place this boxwood garland and this sign on the mantle. Then I'll add this clock and some bookends that I've had for many years to the mantle. Then I'll add this galvanized sphere and this green canister to the mantle so it will tie in with the green on the coffee table. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to add some lanterns with some LED lights inside to the media console. I'll add these metal spheres to create visual interest. I'll start with the coffee table by adding this white tray and this Pottery Barn candle holder. I'll add some LED candles to create some cozy lighting. I'll add in this decor and this cute green cuddle weather sign. I'll add this metal sphere to tie in with the other metal spheres on the media console. Now I'm going to put this little side table back where the Christmas tree was. I'll place this faux brown book on top to create height and visual interest. Next, I'll add a lamp and a picture. Let's begin our winter home tour. Thanks for joining me on this winter decorate with me and home tour. Please share this video with a friend, click like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Bye.